Hello, hello, welcome. This is Ali Jade, and I'm doing your Virgo weekly reading. Let's see what's happening for my Virgo family. This is going to cover January 21st, which is today, to January 27th, 28th which is Monday, Tuesday, next week. I hope you all had a really good MLK, uh, Martin Luther King holiday. Uh, very famous Capricorn. And his sayings going to be more true than ever before. Okay, so let's see. For my beautiful, there it goes. We're going to start with tarot. I actually did a one before, so I might post that one. That one's the Oracle reading. And then I think I just might keep this as the um, tarot spread. Because um, I forgot to do tarot on that one. And I, thought, I was like, oh no, they're not going to want to see that one. But the other one's really good. So let's see. Maybe there's another collective for, another energy for the collective for Virgo that they want me to communicate to you. Oh my God. Okay, okay, let's see what we have. Okay, there we go. We have um, one, two, three major arcanas, and we're just going to go old style, okay? Um, I call this my spiritual soul session, which was gifted to me as, as a label from one of my clients because I really just get into it. But I, I just, I, I'm going to just cover a quick version of this, okay? So where you're mentally at, you're strong, your, your mental faculties are very strong, very strong willed. You're not a pushover. You're not going to be taking crap from anybody. And you have a lot to say if somebody crosses your lines or steps on your boundaries. So you're, you're at a very, you're coming in as the queen of swords. Okay. So it means like, you, you know, the queen of swords tends to be somebody who In reference to like the Virgo vibe, uh, you know, she's strong. She's walked away from her husband, the king, who didn't treat her right. So this could be, you know, this is a lot of how you are now, Virgo, where you haven't been treated right. You, um, People have taken advantage of your kindness and your warmth, and you're just uh, to the point where you're, you're, you're not going to put up with it anymore. Okay, and you can see you're very you're very confident, you know, in your psychic gifts right now, in your spiritual realm, or in your intuition, because you can definitely see what's coming ahead of you. Um, you know what to do. Like you are at a, in a position now where you're not lost, you know, lost and found. No, you you are connected spiritually. You're tuned in, turned on, and connected is the energy I get. Because of this swift, uh, shift and swift energy here of, of um, connectivity to spirit, to your higher self, is, oh, you have four major arcanas. This week is going to be big. Oh, my God. No wonder they had me do tarot for you. Okay. <clears throat> Damn. That's crazy. All right, so four major arcana. Hold on. Mm. I'm tripping. Okay. So there's there's a there's a very you're you're on your higher spiritual journey right now. Okay. So the, uh, what I'm picking up this is the Taurus energy, the hierophant, but I'm picking up longevity. I'm picking up long term. <clears throat> the Hierophant is here. And guess who he's next to? So you are being guided spiritually. You are being um, coerced. You are being... If you trust your intuition, if you go with what, you know, with your higher self, you're going to be led to 
well, we'll find out <laughs> where you're going to be led to because I still don't know. But, you know, you're walking this right this right path for you. It's the higher path. It's the spiritual path. It's your higher calling, okay? Um, you could be me running right into your soulmate, too. You could be right going right into your soulmate energy right now. Now, because um, it's, it's your destiny, North Node and Cancer. Uh, we have emotions here, deep emotions. And we have um, wands of love coming towards you. Some, you know, someone's got their eye on you here. Someone uh, from a distance is looking at you, and they kind of have a feeling. You know, this could be you too. Like you have, you know, what you want now, and this could be in a in a soulmate relationship. Like you want this spiritual love, you want this spiritual connection. You know, um, you want tradition. You want marriage. You want. And, and and you want family perhaps some of you want to be a mother but this isn't for everybody but uh, obviously because I'm, I'm covering so many people but uh, your card is here I mean this is really what's ha what's happening for you you are in your essence you're in your power you're you know this you could this is all behind the scenes this isn't like really you know you're out there speaking it to anybody you haven't even verbalized it I could be the first one that's telling you you know um, someone from your past could be looking at you that they want to be with you now and they this week you might get contact maybe towards the end of the week um they could be taurian but i don't know or your taurus friend will call you at the end of the week <laughs> that could be it too i have a lot of taurus friends that's funny okay um let's do the let's oops let's do the clarifiers for this row right here. Now this is intense to me. This right here. Woohoo. Look at that. Arrows of love, the Hierophant, and the moon card. What is going on? What is going on? You are someone's ideal partner, Rachel. You are, you, you know, I feel like you've passed some kind of test here with flying colors and you have left a sweet scent around you behind you that somebody is gonna is coming back okay somebody has been lost in deep emotions somebody has uh realized something that they've had an epiphany they've had like a they've done the they've done the work here okay they've done the work they went back to somebody somebody you might have been left for somebody okay a third party situation you got put into a third party situation you might you might have been left for that person and that and then this person um is is still in it but they're realizing who you are like they're realizing what they lost they realize that they took the they took the bait for something you know that was not um growing that they cannot emotionally grow even they, there's no emotional growth and so this they, they might be emotionally stunted too this could be they might be emotionally stunted look at the beginning and the end this is someone who might not have any mother you know deficient mother qualities in their family and they they always they know what they want and they're very ambitious and they're very smart they're very clever and they're able to fake it till they make it but when it comes to their partners and picking someone, they, they it, it lacks the support, emotional guidance, and the wisdom, and even the love. It feels like it's it's, it's money based. It feels like uh, it's all for looks. It's all. It feels like it's all for looks. It's all for a show. Nothing real. Oh my God! Are these upside down? Don't tell me these are upside down. Yeah. Okay. for this yeah it's all for show that's what I said huh okay why is this still oh I need I need it right side up three came out should I take it uh-huh I'll take it okay all right, for, okay, I did pick this up a little bit in the energy from the Oracle that I just did for you guys, that there's an ex that wants to come back, okay? Um, love is coming in, but there's a false 
love coming in as well okay and so you this is going to be why you need to really have your spidey senses this is in the i'm going gonna, I'm gonna to post the other one it has mystery on there okay this is a bonus oracle i mean bonus tarot reading for you guys um you really got to trust your intuition big time your higher self and you got to tell yourself what is it you want in a relationship you want longevity this is the conventional marriage you know marriage in the, in the institution so uh if you want that don't devalue it okay M make sure that there's a high value to what you want because um don't just hope for it and cross your fingers and kind of aim aimlessly it's like stand firm with what you really want because the universe can give it to you but if, if you're gonna if you're gonna buckle under somebody coming back and 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 um this this is okay so this is why i say this that you have the eight of wands somebody's going to be coming back it's, it might be a big surprise it might catch you by surprise on the internet messenger all the message services there that we have social media and um this is they don't have good intentions okay they want to come and go they want to do a drive-by it's if they can and they have you have not heard from this person perhaps in a while they're coming they're creeping in like whenever they want you know on, on their terms they're not out for your best uh, they're not out for your best okay so they might be hoping for money from you too they might be hitting you up for money and then this is leaving you like really distraught so you might meet somebody new this week and then somebody old comes in this week as well okay so it, it leaves you with your emotions like up in the air it leaves you very um, uncertain okay uh because then all these emotions might bubble up again and from the young woman i mean some a lot of my viewers are young women but what i'm picking up from this is don't be the young woman don't be naive don't be the one that can just come be, you know they can just come and go with you like because the young woman it doesn't know better right and so she's going to take as if it's dating and make it lighthearted or whatever but you if, if this is someone from your past you know who they are like you know their mo their modem of opera and you know who, so don't don't be a fool again okay so this is really what I'm, I'm picking up with that energy here somebody from your past it just really is very evident here this is someone that you want to speak your mind to you know their secrets i don't think virgo said anything I don't think Virgo said anything. I think, I think you um, act from a higher spiritual order, where you're not here to hurt. You're here to heal the collective, and um, and you come from a place where it's beyond this world. You know, it's beyond the earthly realm. It's not. You're not acting from from the laws of this world. You're acting from more of a higher spiritual law, a higher spiritual place. This person, you can't help but just be, you know, feeling bad for them because they're not coming from their higher self. They're coming from their this page energy. This page energy is fiery. It's 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 um, impulsive. It's reactive. It's uh, untamed. That's what I can say. But you know, you have two cards of knowing. You know, you know, Virgo, what the best thing for you to do is. You know what the best situation is here. Take care of you, okay? You're number one, you're number two, you're number three. Nothing else matters right now, okay? So just whatever is your best interest, that's what you need to look out for because ain't nobody looking out for your best interest right now. And you're coming from a higher spiritual realm. Okay, you're coming from the highest um, order here. Not man's law, God's laws. Spiritual law. So don't go against the spiritual law. You will regret it. You will not. You will not succeed. Okay. You. Um, you might encounter a lot of emotion this week. A lot of emotion. So let's. Uh, I don't even know what to do next. I want to see, you know what? I want to do the psyche card on the moon because I'm like, what? The moon is about secrets and 
and I mix these two up. This goes here, that goes there. Okay, you guys got two reads this week from me. Wow, I'm loving my Virgos, loving it. Okay, the wheel. So this is just a little bit of emotion, um, emotion. What, what do I want to say? Emotion. Uh, the tail end of of what's left. Okay this is on my other oracle reading you think you got over it but you really didn't you know things that were that are deeply seated you don't you didn't really um deal with it as much as as thought as you thought you had you know there's still stuff that's that needs to be purged so no worries about that uh and let's pick a card power of wisdom card just wrap this up a little extra 15 for my Virgos by the book okay yes this is so true this is Capricorn season everything should be done by the book um, let's no cutting corners it's not going to 11 11 wow 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 somebody did you wrong Virgo somebody did you wrong they didn't do the things they went outside the, the laws of the natural laws I'm telling you is what I pick up okay aiding by social rules conformity Respecting culture. Let's get these. Respecting culture. Wow. This is what I'm talking about. Okay. Or family customs, universal laws. The universe works within a structure of divine laws and principles that provides a framework for human experience and evolution. The law of abundance, the law of prayer, the law of karma, the law of attraction, law of thought, law of compensation, and the law of nature are only a few that are known. And these principles create perfect order and operate with a kind of precision beyond human understanding. Even revolution has its place in, in its universal law. Now, human beings in turn have their own laws and customs that vary from culture to culture. Laws keep social order and gov govern behavior, reflecting an instinctive understanding that harmony is important. This is a time to learn these laws and conform to them, rather than being the rebel and flaunting them. When this card appears, submit to structure and follow the rules, even if they seem to make no sense. Release resistance for universal laws will correct any disharmony. disharmony. Open your eyes to these universal laws and it will be easier to go by the book at this time. Now, what this tells me is that you have secrets here that you know of that are very sensitive of sensitive matter. Okay. They may involve a young woman. Um falseness people being false you know um, they smile in your face and it couldn't involve thievery but i do think it's just um low vibrational behavior sneakiness more than anything now with the virgo came across this acted from a higher order here and kept it moving you got a lot to say there's a lot to be said but you did your own introspection work here You've dealt with it emotionally, okay? Four major arcanas. This, to me, these are very introspective cards. It means that you have not been in contact with somebody. You have not been around to, to uh, hash out the details. You, you, you may not have any clue what's going on in this person's life. This person, um, it could be looking at you on the internet, could be checking you out. Uh, and this person, these two cards are about this person's checking you out on the internet two of wands and they're also thinking about hey maybe i should contact that virgo they were they were a nice person they, they were they were good to me they were nice they were kind um and they're hoping maybe to hit you up for money because they may not be in the best situation or they about they they value you and they're hoping for some kind of something with you okay now with the uh wisdom of oracle deck they have not lived their life by the laws of god they live their lives by the laws of man if that means anything to you the laws of man have deep karma that carry with them so 
this person's sneaky where you're going to be dealing with somebody who's sneaky they're going to be trying to sneak back into your life is what i pick up okay this is um keep it moving you have healed the star energy in some decks is about healing this is the star energy you have healed yourself you have separated the emotional impact the emotional earthquake that might have happened in the past it's healed don't go back to that okay you you're but it's <laughs> It's going to get you by surprise, okay? It's going to get you by surprise, Uranus energy and Taurus energy. So it's good. it might affect your nervous system big time. I have some, I have a great herb for the nervous system, okay? If you guys suffer from anxiety, um, it's a Chinese herb that I'm going to name my next child, which I probably won't have any more children, but if I, if I adopt one, I'll name them that. Um, it is so splendid. The stuff is like, I had to have this after my father was blind in another country and i'm here in the states unable to help him unable to see him unable to do anything my nerves were whacked i was at work and i just constantly was crying and um, yeah i got the remedy for that so <laughs> watch out all i'm going to say is wait for <laughs> this is the title for this one wait for it wait for it that's what it's going to be. Um, so I'm excited to find out what this is for my Virgos. This is a, a bonus because I was inspired to do this bonus to, for you guys, my beautiful, beautiful star, soul stars. Okay, so I will talk to you soon. Um, much love, much light. Follow your intuition. Follow your gut. Play by the rules this week. Take care. Bye-bye.